And what I want to get flavour into the rice is the onion to be nice and sort of toasted and caramelised. Now, if you, if you want to do without the onion, I would still suggest you have a little bit of oil because it does help to keep the grains separate. Now, cooking perfect rice is very, very easy provided you know what the rules are. So number one is it's best, I always think, to use a wide frying pan and it needs to have a lid. Now this frying pan actually has its own lid, but if you haven't got a frying pan with a lid, if you dig about in your saucepan cupboard, you can probably find one that will fit a frying pan. But this shallow pan is very important because it keeps the grains separate. Rule number two is always measure the rice by volume and not by weight because the correct amount of liquid is twice the volume. So you measure the rice in a measuring jug and you need about two and a half ounces per person. I've got 10 ounces here, so it's up to the 10 ounce measure. And then you use twice that of liquid. So measure by volume and always use twice the amount of liquid to the rice. This will be enough for four people, so I'm going to put the rice in the pan. And what that little bit of oil does is as you move it around, each grain gets just a very, very faint smidgen of oil, and this helps to keep the grains separate. So just toss them around until they've all got a nice coating. And then the next thing you do is add the liquid. I'm just using water today, but you can use stock. So in it goes. And then I'm just going to give it a stir. And what I didn't tell you is you don't ever wash rice. You don't need to. It's all cleansed in the milling. And sometimes some of the nutrients that are clinging onto the rice are best left there so you don't need to wash it and anyway it'll be purified because it's going to be boiled. This will come up to simmering point in a minute so you don't have to worry about that. Then as soon as it comes up to simmering point which that is now you put a lid on and you give it between 12 and 15 minutes to cook. Now I'm going to give you the most important rule of all and where most people go wrong and that is you must leave it alone. What happens is, you know, you're cooking rice, you might be doing it for the first time, you might be a bit nervous, so you take the lid off and then you go in with your spoon and have a stir. And what that does is it disturbs the grains, the stirring breaks them, and all the starch that's inside the grains comes out and the rice becomes sticky, and that's why you've probably had failures in the past if you have had failures. So the most important rule is please, please leave it alone. Put your timer on, come back, have a look in 12 minutes, just take a little grain between your fingers and see if it's cooked. And when the rice is cooked, as I said before, you can just take a little grain to see if it's ready. Another way to tell if it's ready is to just move, move the rice in and just tip the pan and if there's no liquid left, you know that it's all been absorbed and the rice is ready. The next thing you need to do is switch the heat off and then what you do is you put a tea cloth on the rice like that and just leave it for five or ten minutes to settle and what happens is the steam will be absorbed in the cloth and it'll be even more fluffy and separate when you want to serve it. <laughs>